The combat of the century is here. Has God put it there to be a sign in heaven? Michael Snyder reports. Is it just a coincidence that the combat of the century has appeared just as all-out war is about to erupt the Middle East and a presidential election that has the potential to change life in America forever is about to be decided? Perhaps you do think that it is just a coincidence and you're certainly entitled to that opinion, but my personal opinion is that it's not a coincidence that this comet has appeared at this specific moment in history. In this article, I'm going to share some truly remarkable things that I have discovered about this comet, and that will include some things that I did not learn until today. In Genesis 1.14, the Bible specifically tells us that one of the reasons why God created the lights in the heavens was because he intended to use them as signs. Genesis 14 says, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And in Luke chapter 21, Jesus warned us that there would be signs in the sun and in the moon and the stars in the days prior to his return. So anyone that attempts to claim that events in the heavens never have any meaning is directly contradicting the Bible. All throughout human history there have been important signs in the heavens, and now the comet of the century is here. This comet's official designation is Comet C2023A3, but it's also known as Tuchinshan Atlas, and right now people all over the internet are talking about it. Unless you've been on a hiking holiday in Outer Mongolia for the past year, you've probably heard that there is going to be a bright comet in the sky next month. It's everywhere. It's called Comet C2023A3, Tsuchinsan Atlas, and you're likely to be hearing a lot about this over the coming weeks. Already, you cannot go on social media without seeing half a dozen new stories announcing the Comet of the Century is coming, illustrated with an AI-generated graphic showing a brilliant ball of light with a glowing tail stretched out behind it. The reason why the Comet's official designation has 2023, and it is because it was originally discovered in early 2023. As always, the name of the comet itself reveals important details about it. Its official name is C2023A3, and proceeding in order, the letter C indicates that it is a non-periodic comet, the number 2023, that it was discovered in 2023, and letter A, that its first observation took place in the first half of January and finally, the number three indicates that it was the third object discovered in that same period. In reality, however, the official confirmation of the discovery of this comet took place February 22, 2023. We have now reached a time when it will start to become visible in the sky in the Northern Hemisphere, and that is very exciting. According to an article that was posted by Wired, it was being projected that the date when the comet would shine the brightest would be October 2nd. C2023A3 will shine in the Northern Hemisphere sky from September 27, that's today, and it will remain visible until the last week of October. During this period, the comet will reach its minimum distance from the Sun before beginning its journey back out of the solar system. According to the specialized blog Cometography, the day when C2023A3 will shine the brightest will be October 2nd, the comet's tail will be long and spectacular at this point due to its proximity to the Sun. As I discussed in a previous article, Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown on October 2nd. In addition, there will also be the Ring of Fire solar eclipse on October 2nd. So on Rosh Hashanah, the comet of the century will be brightest in the exact same time that a spectacular Ring of Fire eclipse is appearing in the sky. That is quite a coincidence. There will only be two solar eclipses during 2024. The first was the Great American Eclipse on April 8th, and the second will be the Ring of Fire Eclipse on October 2nd. The Ring of Fire Eclipse will only be visible for a very short time, but the Comet of the Century will continue to be visible throughout much of October. On October 9th and 10th, the Comet will pass almost directly between Earth and the Sun. Thanks to a pure good fortune, Comet C2023A3, 
Tzu Qinshan Atlas will then pass almost directly between the Earth and the Sun on October 9th and 10th, and this could cause a spectacular brightening of the comet thanks to forward scattering caused by its dust. Imagine looking towards a bright light source through a cloud of dust grains. The grains nearest to the light source will scatter light from a source back towards you. If conditions are just right, and right now we don't know if that will be the case or not, there is a possibility that this comet could actually become visible during daylight hours for a short period of time. As the comet swings between Earth and the Sun, it will be perfectly placed for this forward scattering process to occur. And if the comet is particularly dusty, this could cause it, its apparent brightness to increase up to 100 times. If it does, there's a small chance the comet could briefly become visible in the daylight sky October 9th and 10th. We won't know for sure if this will actually happen until then, but if it does happen, it will make news all over the globe. And subsequently, the comet of the century will come closest to our planet on October 12th. By the time C 2023A3 passes closest to the Earth on October 12th, sky watchers can find it in the evening sky shortly after sunset. And it turns out that Yom Kippur just happens to fall on October 12th this year. That's right. The comet of the century will be closest to Earth on one of the most important days on God's prophetic calendar. But I suppose that is a coincidence too. We're being told that the comet will appear to rapidly climb in the western sky and will become a bright naked eye object for a few days starting on Yom Kippur. After swinging between Earth and the Sun, the comet will appear in the evening sky. It will rapidly climb in the western sky and would be a bright, should be a bright naked eye object for a few days from October 12th. The sliders will be given, uh, will give you a sense of where to look. For the first few days of this period, the comet will shift, still benefit from the forward scattering of sunlight, but this will decrease as it moves away. Could this comet be a sign of war? Could this comet be a sign of war? We're so close to the unthinkable and it appears that there will be no turning back now. Israel Foreign Minister Israel Gatz announced that his nation will continue to fight against the Hezbollah organization with all our strength, he said, until victory and the safe return of the residents of the, to the, of the north to their homes. That means that there's a war coming. And as I write this article, we're only about 40 days away from the most pivotal presidential election in any of our lifetimes. At this point, everyone should be able to see that we are entering a period of extreme chaos. But a lot of people out there have not wanted to listen to any of the warnings, and they certainly are not interested in any signs in the skies. That is extremely unfortunate because none of us will be able to avoid what is coming soon coming upon this planet. This is by Michael Snyder on The Economic Collapse blog. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. About the author, Michael Snyder's new book entitled Why is available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. He's also written eight other books available on Amazon including Chaos, End of the End Times, Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies in Future America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of Michael's books, you help to support the work that he's doing. You can also get his articles by email as soon as he publishes them by subscribing to his Substack newsletter. Michael has published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And he always freely and happily allows others to republish those articles on their own websites. These are such troubled times and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, we strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.